Can you guys see the hair? Does it even really show on here? Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi, my name is Alexis Jada and welcome. Today's story time, I want to take you guys back, back, back to when I was super like naive and let me scoot close because the cheese is good. So go and get you something to snack on, to eat, comer, because it is, it is good. And I was like, I knew it, like, I knew it. I dyed my hair. I feel like I needed a change. I was like, you know, kind of just, you know how when you're like, I don't know what to do, I don't know, to cut my hair, to get a piercing, all that. So I got a piercing. I got like a little bump on it, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, I do. Cause, oh yeah. Yeah, it has a little bump on it because I keep going, think, boom, think, boom. I don't know why. I'm gonna stop doing that. Hopefully it goes down. Let's see, can I get it on my dye hair? Oh, oh, go ahead, let me see. Jade wants to show you her hair. We sprayed it. So it has this one. Let me see the other one. The other one? The other one, mama. This one? So we got rose gold and purple and blue, huh? The blue is in back, but it will come down. Yeah, we had it like in a high top knot, but me and I kept messing with it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be creating a look using these two palettes. If you guys hear my kids, the sun is out, so they're like, let's go outside and let's raise chaos. All right, loves, so sit back. Let me take you guys back to memory lane. Back in the day, let me call this friend, we'll call her Flake, okay? Cause she was hella flaky and she would just, I always knew that she was just, it was just too toxic and I never took from her never ever ever and things would always go missing when I had flake around But I felt so crappy even like putting it on her I felt crappy even like insinuating like it could be her and she had this vibe about her that made me feel bad and sad like when you were around her you just felt like you couldn't help but feel like sorry for her, you know? I don't know what it was. I just felt like sadness every time I was around her. And she like literally just had that about her. And it just sucked because I'd be hanging out with friends sometimes. And they're like, oh, who are you with? I'm like, oh, I'm with Flake. And they'd be like, all right, well, hit me up when you're not with her. And I'm like, why? They're like, mm, you know, the vibe. I'm like, oh, okay. I just understood it. Cause it's like, yeah, I totally get it because <sighs> I gotta tell more story times about her so you guys can understand. So anyways, one day I have my baby with me. I have Andrew with me, okay? So me and her, whole day we spent together. I'm like, cool. I'm not having to like entertain the ex or nothing. I'm just, just able to chill with my friend and just have a good time. He could not stand her. And I hated even like feeding into that because I felt like, Oh, like, no, he's just trying to keep me away or he's just trying to put bad stuff in my brain about her because she probably low-key knows about this, knows about that. <laughs> so, silly me was always like, oh, he doesn't like Flake because she knows too much cheese me about him. Like, she knows he's a dog, you know? And it just kind of sucks because sometimes, yeah, I was right. And then sometimes it was just like, okay, he got it right just this one time, you know? So, anyways, me and her whole day together just chilling having fun and literally we're just going from like one spot to another spot to another spot to another spot she had a cart so i was so excited to like <sighs> smell the air get out because i was always locked up with the boyfriend's mama could not stand it she would just like come around the room and be like and just wanted to know like what I was doing. Oh, did you do this? Oh, did you do that? Did you make lunch for him? Did you pack this for him? The most and I could not stand it. It like literally irked my soul because it was it was toxic. It was too much. So when Flake was like, hey, I got a car. Let me pick you up. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. So I had made some money working in the field because i wasn't old enough to get a regular job so i worked in the field and i was picking like the squash i was picking the fruits all that it is a hard hard 
job like it really really is so when i made that money i was like holding it on like like chicle i was like mm -mm. like i'm going to spend this wisely because this took a long time a long time to make this amount you know literally one place to another place to another place to another place and we were just having a good time now i did tell her from the beginning like oh just let me know how much to put in since we're gonna be using your car to drive around because I'm not one to just sit down at someone's table and not put nothing down either, okay? I'm going to bring something to the table. I'm not just gonna sit there and be like, mm -hmm, hi, like I'm not gonna do that. It's always been, and if you can't, you can't, but you help in other ways. You, you know, you pick up the dishes, you clean algo. You don't ever just sit down and not, <sighs> you get what I'm saying, right? So I did tell her, oh, I'll pay for the gas since we're gonna be going here and she's gonna be taking me there. Oh, you did scratch yourself. Oh, it's a tea, mama. So I told her that I would put in the gas. So before we even took off, she came in empty, okay? So this is how the day went. I'm getting ready. She, she messages me, hey, I got a car. Cool, we can kick it. I'll put the gas in. Nice, okay, cool. She picks me up. I come outside with my car seat. My arms were a buff, okay? Because my baby was a chunk. So I had some muscles on me, okay? So I go outside. She tells me, oh, okay, so you said you're going to put the gas in. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it was no problem. So I was like, just pull right over here to the Maverick, and I'll do it. I'm so excited because I'm like, air, 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 you know? So I go in. Can you put 30 on this number? Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Walk back out. I'm all excited. Ha, da, 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 da. Tell her like, pop the thing, pop the thingy, put the thingy in. And cool, we're set. She sees how much I put in and she was like, oh, my car's still thirsty. My grandma used to say that all the time. So I was like, bitch, it's $30. Like, what are you talking about? And she, she's like, oh, well, it's thirsty. And I'm like, it'll be all right, it'll be all right. And as I get in the car, I'm looking, it's more than like, it's good. It's good. It's almost to full where I'm like, you like came on empty and like, I'm, I'm like, <sighs> so I, I try not to think anything of it because I'm like, you know what, whatever. She came over here to see me. It's all good. Before she leaves, I'll add more to the tank. I'm already thinking, okay, like I'm going to make sure she gets back home with some gas. She's going to be all right. She's going to be big, big chilling. Hey. Okay, don't make a mess. So we go shopping. I'm looking for me. I'm looking for Andrew. I am so excited. Like, I'm just so excited. We're laughing. We're having a good time. All that. We go to the mall. You guys already know I love me some pretzels. Okay, pretzels are no joke. Okay, those are my favorite. If you say pretzels and nacho cheese, <coughs> we're going on a date. We are going to go hang out. So we're getting our pretzels. We're in line. This is when I kind of like second clocked it where I was like, Okay, and we're just like waiting in line. Okay, waiting in line, just waiting. It's my turn. I order, I get me something, and then I pay. Cool. And I notice that she kind of has like a little toot. And in the moment, I'm like, I should have like offered to pay for it, for it, you know. But then I was like, but I just put in gas. But like she is, so I'm like having a little little debate in my head, you know. Before I could be like, oh, I got it. She already paid. Okay, cool. We have to wait for it to be made. So we're sitting down, still talking, and it's kind of like pulling teeth with her. She always was like this. I don't know why, like when she was in a bad mood, everyone just knew, you know? So I was kind of like, damn, like I should have just paid for it. Why didn't you like just pay for it, Jay? Like, ugh. But then I was like, oh, but like it, it took a lot to make that. So I was just trying to be very careful with the amount that I did have because I didn't want to go overboard either and not have nothing because being with this man, oh, I remember my mom giving him the talk of like giving me an allowance and he was like, for what? <laughs> she don't work for it. Like for what? And any sort of anything that I got, I was just like holding on to it, okay? I was bien flaquita when I did not have money, okay? I filled out more, okay? When I got some money to like feed myself. But anyways, so she kind of has a little attitude and I'm like telling her, I just straight up tell her, I'm like, dude, did you want me to pay for it? Like my bad, like I was just, look, 
I was working in the fields. I didn't make that much. And I'm just trying to like, you know, I'm just trying to make it like last. And she's like, like if I'm that expensive anyways. And I'm like, no, like my bad, my bad. Mind you, I just put in 30. She came on empty and it's like, okay. But then in my head, I'm like, but you wouldn't be right here having these pretzels and nachos if it wasn't for homegirl picking you up. So relax. So I was like, you know what? I'll get his drinks. She kind of perks up a little bit. She's like, I mean, I did say I was thirsty. And I was like, here we go again. Okay. So I go and I get us something from like Julius. Get us our drink. I get a medium because again, I am like trying to penny pinch, but I am like, okay, I'm trying. Okay, I'm trying. She is a mom of three. We started early. So I'm like, okay, she should see how it's hard. Okay, understand it's hard so she could relate right so i give her the drink and she's like uh and just drinks it it's just awkward i feel like i'm really no let me change that i was really easy to punk on because i was just so desperate for friendship where i would like i would see it but i would just ignore it because i was like you know what if i'm dealing with him i could i could see past a lot of bs because if i could put up with that and not put up with this then the audacity that i must have right but don't even think like that because you are not a punching bag okay don't even let your friends either like overuse that with you like oh but you let him but you time and place time and place so we finish our drinks and then she asks me like oh what do you want to look at i'm like oh let's look in hot topic i've always been obsessed with hot topic like I feel like they have like the cutest stuff and I'm just like, yes, let's go to Hot Topic. We go inside Hot Topic. She's like telling me, oh, like, look at this piercing. This one looks cute. I'm like, yes, I wanted to re-pierce my belly button. And we were just looking at some really freaking cute jewelry. I was like, oh, look at this, look at this, look at this. Just looking and having a grand old time. Just window shopping. That's what I was doing, window shopping. Cause I was like, oh, I want to get this. Oh, I want to get that. But in reality, I was not gonna get nothing because I can't. I gotta make sure that I hold on to whatever I do have and you know what I can what like pick and choose pick and choose what I'm going to use what on because I don't got a lot of buckaroos. She ends up getting a really cute jewelry jewelry for her piercing so I'm like oh, okay cool. I wait in line with her and the total is like 40 bucks. She does the whole like looking through her pockets and she's like oh I forgot it in the car. That's what she says, okay? I forgot it in the car. And I was like, oh, just give me your keys. Like, I'll go and get it. She gives me the ugliest look. Like, you did not just do that. Like, I was so like, like, was I not supposed to say that? Like, were we supposed to be like, oh, damn, like, I'll be back for it? Or is it like, oh, you should have offered? Like, what are we doing? What are we doing? Like, I'm so confused. Please let me know. I'm not good with that kind of social cue. What should we do? So Flake looks at me freaking ugly again, right? Like ugly. And I kind of just like get quiet. I don't know why I did. Cause like, how are you gonna punk me in front of my baby? First of all. So I just get kind of quiet. Cause I'm like, oh, okay, you, you're gonna figure it out. Cool. That's cute. She keeps like trying to look for it, trying to look for it. And I'm just sitting there in silence, like with my strong arm holding my baby because I'm getting a little annoyed but I have to like keep checking myself because I'm like you know what you're reading way too much into it you're super defensive because you're used to homeboy constantly like punking on you so like chill like you need to relax and that's how I always felt too I feel like I was constantly thinking that like oh I'm reading way too much into it because I'm super defensive because of him because of him so she goes how much is it and the person goes like oh it's 40 let's say 40 26 okay 40 26 she's like so you got like nothing i can borrow right now until we get to the car like that i'm just like like looking like she's gonna freaking bark i'm like well like can i just go and get it for you she's like well you think i'm not good for it so she starts getting like a little sassy and i feel like just on the spot because i would let her borrow money before but she takes her sweet time giving it back to me and she'd always be like you're good like you're not starving you don't need it right now like you're good i hate when people do that like i hate it that's why i don't like lending money to like family especially because they always want to be like you're good you're you don't need it right now you're good and it's like 
How do you know what I what I do and what I don't need it for? What are, what are you talking about? Give me the money. Like, it's so annoying. Awkward as hell. I know everyone's probably like, Alexis, what the f I know, okay, I know. I always go back to this freaking memory and I'm always like, mm. I always be giving speeches to my kids. Like, don't let nobody punk you like that don't let anybody make you feel any type of way about nothing like mm -mm. i'm like well that's like all i got that's all you brought like bitch how are you gonna br like how are you gonna judge me and you don't even got your money on you like what the f like what and so i tell her i'm like yeah that's all i got and she's like well, we can just go to the car after and i'm like why can't we go to the car before she's like why are you questioning me and it was just so awkward even the cashier was like uh can you guys go to the side because i'm gonna get the people behind you it was so awkward like super super awkward so the tailor ends up feeling like she doesn't feel comfortable selling and i didn't even know that's a thing that they could do that she was like mm -mm. thank goodness because i feel like even she was like uh this is a bad friend you know this is not a good friend ma'am what are you doing so we ended up leaving at the store it was so quiet. I feel like the only noise was just like Andrew like hitting my hip with the car seat, okay? And he was getting a little fussy because it was time for him to eat. And again, my baby big, my baby chunky, okay? I made sure my baby came out five pounds, okay? He was a newbie. He was a preemie. A newbie. <laughs> he was a preemie, so he was little, okay? And I remember, I don't even... I don't know how the nurse is. We're like, yeah, let's just, it's okay. Just let her go. Let her go. She's okay. He was so little. He was such a little baby. Preemie. Okay. Preemie. And even the preemie clothes did not fit him. He was five pounds, you little baby. But I made sure to tell the nurse, like, I'm going to fatten him up. Promise you. I'm going to fatten him up like he is. And she believed me. And I did. So he was getting hungry. So he started getting a little fussy. And she has the nerve to go, Ugh. Okay, it's one thing you're giving me attitude to me, but it's another one you do to my baby. My cuernos come out. And I'm like, don't be looking at my baby like that. You got me fucked up. Like, I was so mad. And she kind of like fixed her face. She's like, I'm just kidding. But I think when I let Jada come out, she was like, oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Don't forget it, bitch. Don't forget it, please. I was so infuriated. Like, that right there did it for me. It wasn't the, you know, the money uh, kind of irritated me. But as soon as she's like... <laughs> Because, bitch, where's your three kids? Hmm? Okay, that's what, I'm that's what I thought. That's what I thought. So, I told her, I'm like, okay, we're going to have to sit. And, like, there's a little, like, center that you can sit down where, like, kids play. I'm going to feed him there. And she's like, well, I'm just going to go to the car and you can just do whatever you got to do with him. And I was like, okay, then go. So, I'm sitting there in this little, like, center, feeding him, having a little good time where I forgot, like, I even came with her, okay? Because I was like... She got some stank attitude. And I, and I was like, telling myself, like, why, why do you do this, Jade? Why do you do this? Like, why? Like, you already know. But I was just so desperate to smell some air. I was so desperate <laughs> to smell some air. So I'm feeding Andrew. And I feel like it takes a long minute for her to come back. And I'm like, okay, maybe she's just taking... I just wiped off all that concealer. Maybe she's taking her sweet time because, you know, it takes a while to feed the baby. I don't know. So I eventually have to go and look for her. Can't find her. And I have abandonment issues. I never understood what did, did. I never understood why I would get like paranoid when I would lose like my siblings in the store or my mom or my husband. I never under, I never understood like why it affected me and got me like super paranoid. And it's because my mama would leave me. <laughs> so I can't find her. So I start to get like, okay. Okay, and I swear it's like when you're looking for somebody, they don't pick up the phone. Like it never fails. Anytime I can't find my husband too, I'll call him and go straight to voicemail. I'm like, you do it on purpose. And he's like, oh my God, no, I don't. And it's just like convenience crazy. Ah, makes me so mad. So I'm like calling her back to back. It's going straight to voicemail. I'm like, so I text her. I'm like, where are you? I'm like texting her back to back. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? And she's not responding. I'm like, Okay, maybe she's in the girls' restroom. So I go into the girls' restroom. Nope, she's not in the girls' restroom. So I'm getting a little agitated because I'm like, this is like rude. Like, what if she did just like leave me here and she didn't even say nothing? And then I'm like, oh my God, what if she got kidnapped? I'm thinking of like so many things of like, oh, it could be this, it could be that, all of it, right? Something in my brain is like, check the car, check the car. So I go outside. I get like anxious talking about it. So 
I go outside and before I'm like going to get to the car, my heart is just like, don't, 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 don't. Cause like I see the car, but I'm like, there's no way, like there's no way that she is just chilling in the car and I'm calling. Like there's just absolutely no way. She on the phone with her boyfriend, like something happened with her babies. Like there's no way. I get to the car and she's just sitting there on her phone. And so I knock, cause I'm like, uh, she's like really tripping. Like she really got fucked up. Like what? So I knock like, like hard. She gets startled. She looks at me. She's like, what? <sighs> There's no way I'm free. Like no, no way. Have it on my hips still. I'm like, what do, you, what do you mean? Like you said, you're going to come to the car. You're going to get your money and you're going to be back inside. And she's like, oh, well I decided, I decided I'm not going to go back inside and change my mind. I was like, and you, you weren't gonna tell me? She's like, you found me, didn't you? I did, yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. Audacity, I was just like, okay. Like, I, ugh. Even when we were young, she would like throw these little fits and I just did not understand. I think it's cause her mama didn't hit her. Just kidding. But no, I just honestly don't think that she had consequence. So she didn't respect anyone's time and she would like bully her mom. Like she would tell her mom what was what. It, I honestly think that's what it had to do with it because I was just speechless. I was just like, okay. Like I felt so dumb. Everything in me was like, go home, go home, go home walk home like walk home even though it's gonna be a walk just walk home so i'm like okay so what are you gonna do or are you just trying to take me home she was like you're being dramatic i just didn't want to go back in so i'm like okay 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 yeah like i'm just being a stupid like okay it's me so i get andrew buckled in and i just sit there and she's just on her phone like she's just on her phone and i think that like she just didn't know how to pull herself out of having like an attitude. Like I honestly think that like she didn't want to have an attitude most of the time. She just didn't know how to self-regulate her feelings, you know, like emotions. I feel like she honestly was like, like it was hard for her. Like I, I do think it was hard for her cause I could see her like smiling here and there. But I think that she was just, I don't know, honestly don't know. So we like were there for a good like 10 minutes and I was just like, on my phone and didn't know what to do. I felt stupid. I was like, okay, this is so weird. Like what the, f like, okay. She tells me if I want to go anywhere, if I have anything in mind, like she just didn't want to go back into the mall that it just wasn't the vibe anymore. And I'm like, um, let's go to Gen X. Gen X X zone bore my jam, okay? It was like bang for your buck. I loved being there. She was like, all right, cool, let's go. We ride there. The whole time we're writing there, it's like in silence. I'm like, oh, can I put on the radio? She goes, I mean, like, I guess. And so like, I just tell her, I'm like, Flake, like what the fuck is up, dude? Like, you're so weird. Like your attitude, she's like, I'm just chilling. Like you're too much into your feelings. Like you're too emotional. Uh, I was like, no, I'm not. Like you're being really weird. Like I don't eat, like what the hell? She's like, it was just from the jump. Like you had an attitude. I was like, no, I did not. Like, what are you talking about? And then she tries to blame Andrew. She tries to blame my baby. Okay. She was like, and then he like started fussing. And I was like, what? So you're mad at my baby? I was like, you can just take me home if you have an attitude with him. She, oh my God. That's why I don't ever say anything to, to moms about their kids. Cause you guys are getting too sensitive. Blah, 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 blah. I was like, no, it's all in the way how you say it. And he didn't do nothing. You're over here picking a fight with my baby. You sound crazy. Like you can just take me home. Like I'm not gonna even try to kiss your ass, deal with all that shit. Like I'm just, uh-uh, uh-uh. As soon as you bring up Andrew, I'm done. Just take me home. <laughs> and she's like looking at me, like in shock that like I am writing at dawn for my Andrew. Like I was just like, bitch, you really got me up like you really do and why did you even bring him anyways like i thought it was just gonna be uh, i was like you knew when i text you i told you i'm bringing andrew and if you're one of my friends from back in the day and we would hang out you know i would always bring my babies always and if it was if it was a problem i wasn't gonna come i wasn't gonna come because i wasn't gonna leave my baby with my i was the same mother-in-law but <laughs> i wasn't gonna leave my baby with the ex's mama i just wasn't i just 
was not. She would have this urge of like hugging him and like hitting him super hard because she would just have like ansias. Hated it. She'd make him cry all the time. I wasn't gonna have it. So I would take my Andrew er everywhere with me. I didn't care where we were going. He was going with me. That was my little buddy, okay? That was my baby. Oh, she brought that on. Like, you already knew. Like, I feel like you're just trying to pick a fight and I'm I'm not the one. Just take me home. So we were just like arguing with each other. And then Andrew starts making like baby noises where he's like trying to get into the conversation too. He's like, goo goo ga 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 ga, you know? And she's like, uh, and that, like, I'm like, and take me home right now. Take me home right now. Cause I thought it was so cute that he was trying to get into the conversation. Like, she's probably like, try to back me up. And she's like, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I hate those bitches type of humor where they think they're being funny by being mean like they think it's funny she was like this when we were younger she always thought it was funny to be a bitch until someone pulled her card and then she'd be like i didn't even mean it like that like i just feel like i'm like so misunderstood no you're understood how you how you put it i don't know what you're talking about so even though i keep telling her like take me home take me home take me home because like i'm so annoyed with her she is like trying to like now backpedal and be like it was a joke dude like you're so sensitive what happened to the alexis that i knew back in the day blah 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 blah, blah. and so i'm like she's dead she is dead so stop trying to re like resurrect her she's dead like i was just so annoyed because i don't play by my kids i don't i don't i don't think it's funny even when my brothers try to be funny and like pick on them no i don't think it's funny at all i i don't like it i don't find the humor in it i just i don't i don't think it's hilarious i just i just don't we finally get to gen x and she her mood complete change okay she's just different laughing she's like acting like she's gonna get andrew out of the car seat and i'm like he's good because i don't even i'm not uh -uh, i can't fool me to think like oh yeah i'm gonna like complain about your kid and then i'm gonna try and pick him up no leave him alone i take him out and i'm like no he's good like i'm like super annoyed so she's like now being super ass kisser and just doing the most opening the door and it's just like oh my god like oh, you're so cute when you get mad like just weird and i was like just stop like just stop so we go inside and she goes to her section i go to mine and i'm just looking at the clothes that they have there i don't really see anything but i just like going so like getting the little packs of socks for andrew so i grabbed me a pair they're having a sale so i'm like okay cool i'm gonna i'm gonna give him two we're there for a good minute she tells me she didn't see nothing and i'm like oh look the socks are at a good price you should get some for the babies because she has three remember and she's like oh my mom be my mom be getting that like i don't even need to get it and i'm like oh, okay cool like i just thought it was a good deal and she's like you know what yeah just yeah i get three i'm like okay cool so i'm holding him have my two packs i have her three packs and we're going to the cashier so as we're getting there i put everything on the table the lady rings it up flake pushes her socks towards mine and I look at her and I'm like, girl, like I only got 40, like, you know, I only got 40. And then she's like, oh, then why did you ask if I wanted some for my kids? And I'm like, because it was a good sale and I thought you would want to get some for your kids. So I'm like annoyed because she, again, right back to having like a little tood and I'm just like, what? Like, dude, I mentioned the sale so that you could get it for the babies, for your babies. And she's like, well, like, how does that make sense? It's like when you offer someone to go out to eat do you not pay or you expect them to pay and i was like well it depends on the circumstance like i don't know so we're having an argument yet again and the ladies there did not give a they're just like so annoyed like hurry up and do what you just hurry up like just annoyed right so i get annoyed with her and i'm like what are you doing because i was just really just taken back by her attitude like i was just like what I was like, you know what? Yeah, just get it. Like, okay, whatever. And she's like, no, now you made it weird. Now you make me feel like I can't afford to take care of my kids. Going left with it. And I was like, what? No one even said her that. She's like, you don't even got to say it. You implied it. I was like, I did not imply anything. All I implied was I thought you were going to pay for it because they're your kids. I end up paying for it. Cool. We leave. She's now, by the time we get to the door, okay, she's not in <laughs> mood anymore. I'm like, what? Like, this is so crazy. Like, I don't know why she keeps doing this. And I just have to keep reminding myself, like, this is just the type of person that she is. Don't take it to heart. But remember this next time so we don't kick it with her, okay? Just remember. Remember this moment. Remember being angry. Because I feel like it was so quick for me to forget 
being angry. I know that, that sounds crazy, right? Like what? Remember being angry? Yeah. I feel like I would have to write down like what someone did to me so I could remember it and get mad again and be like, no, I don't want to do this because I feel like I was so quick to forget about someone being rude or whatever it might be. Like I really hated it. So she kind of laughs when we get to the door and I'm like not thinking it's funny. I'm like, yeah, I'm done. Like I am done. Get in the car and I text the ex. I'm like, hey, tell me, text me that I gotta go home. So if I have to show her the phone, and he goes, no. And I'm like, oh, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Like, I knew you weren't going to come through. Like, oh. So she's asking me, like, okay, what's the next stop? I tell her, I don't know. I was like, you can just take me home. Like, he's ready for his nap. I'm cool. She was like, oh, my God. That's some white. You don't got to go home. I'm like, no. Like, I got to go home. Like, I'm just... It was a lot today, like I'm tired. And she's like, oh my God, you're gonna cry over a little bit of money. You're gonna cry over a little money. It's okay, I'll just uh, put it towards the gas again. And I was like, what do you mean the gas again? She's like, yeah, aren't you gonna put gas in again? And I told myself that yes, I was gonna put gas in again, but I just didn't like how she was already counting on it. So it made me feel some like, way. Is it a big deal? No, it just, oh, I don't know. I guess it's like when someone's like, when you're gonna wash dishes and you're like rolling up your, freaking sure and they're like oh make sure you wash the dishes it's like okay now i don't even want to do it anymore because you said something is that petty yes but it's just like ooh, it makes me feel some way she's like oh i'm hungry i can grab a bite oh i was like oh my god i only have like let's say i only have like 20 dollars left because i got the socks for me got the socks for andrew let's say it's 5 10 15 20 25 spent like 30 bucks so it's like uh okay i only got like 10 20 dollars left i do have a stash but no one knows about the stash because I don't like to tell anybody about the stash because then they like just like start counting on it okay and that's something I can't I can say that my grandma did teach me is to make sure that you have your own stash for a rainy day because you just never know so we end up going to McDonald's just to get something cheap and quick she asks me if I'm gonna get anything and I'm like no dude like I'm still full off my pretzels She's like, oh my God, I'll pay for it. Like you're being real good at. I was like, dude, I am not good at. Like, don't call me that. Cause like, uh-uh, I am not like you're tripping. I don't know who you're confusing me with. So I start getting really defensive because I'm like, that is something I am not. So she orders some nuggets, a cheeseburger and two drinks. I didn't order nothing. Cause I'm like, okay, like, no, I don't even want to get anything. Like I'm just like traumatized at this point. Like I'm good. I'm good and I don't even want to get anything after because then she's gonna be like, you see bitch, you probably thought I was gonna ask you. I'm just not even trying to like bring up any sort of like coulda, shoulda, woulda at all because I'm, I'm, I'm checked out at this point. I'm really, I'm like super annoyed. I don't even know how to explain how annoyed I am. I am pissed where I'm just like, this is ugly behavior. So I have to change Andrew. So I grab Andrew, go to the restroom and I have his diaper bag. Now, I have a habit of checking everything multiple times. It's like really bad OCD where I check things in threes. Sometimes if my OCD is really bad, I'll check it in fours and I'll just sit there. Check it. Okay, check it. Check it. Check it. Make sure that I have it. Okay, cool. Check it again. Just in case you didn't check it right the first time. The first two times don't count. Check it check it check it like it's a lot okay and if it gets interrupted we're checking it again check it check it check it for as long as i could remember i would get stuck doing these kind of motions like washing my hands when i was super young i'd have to wash them in three and my mom would be like alexis jade hurry up and i'd be like Ugh. you know i gotta start over again because you interrupted me and you know it was a lot so i was constantly checking my wallet and andrew's diaper bag Constantly checking it, make sure that I had my stash, okay? My stash had $200. Just checking it, checking it. Had You opened the wallet and it had a zipper. So I was like, okay, <sighs> close it. It was like a little secret compartment. So I checked it, checked it, okay, it's still there. And then I had the money that I had left over, but we're not counting the $200 because no one's supposed to know we have the $200, y'all, okay? So I'm like checking, checking, okay, okay, it's there. We can move on now finish what i'm doing and i go out i go out and i notice that she's washing her hands and she's like what are you doing you little weirdo why did you keep opening it up opening up your your wallet over and over and over and i'm, I'm kind of like embarrassed because i don't really like when anyone sees like my routine my rituals whatever the hell and i'll get kind of like because eh, it's like oh you saw it you know i was like oh i just wanted to make sure that i had had change 
just in case he texts me that he wants me to bring him something. She's like, oh, is that your way of telling me that you need to go home now? And I was like, yeah. So she's like, all right, cool. I just need to make a stop at Walmart. I'm like, all right, cool. Cause Walmart's like right there, right next to it. This time I just take Andrew out because I've been carrying him in the car seat. I'll just put him in the cart. Like he'll be cool. He'll be all right. We did a little bit of her shopping. She's like getting stuff that she needs for the house. And we're kind of like getting along a little bit better now. Cause I'm like, okay, cool. Maybe she just needed to eat and the pretzels wasn't enough. Like, okay, cool. I get it you know, whatever, or whatever she's going through with her baby daddy, whatever she's going through. It's not fair as she's like over here taking it out, but I get it to a certain extent. So Andrew starts playing with a toy that I had put in the cart for him because he was getting a little fussy and I was already like, oh, she better not sell him anything. So I was kind of like on edge with anything that had to do with Andrew. So if he was getting a little like fussy, uh, I would try to be like, oh, okay, you know, like not shut him up, but like tend to him quicker, you know? I put a toy in there for him and usually I could just take it back out. But this time he was like, oh no, mom. I like this one right here. I like this one a lot, a lot, a lot. So he wasn't budging by the time we were going to pay. So she tells me like, just go to the car and get the diaper bag, stop being so cheap. Cause I was like, oh, I don't have my wallet. Like I tried using that. And she's like, just go to the car and get your wallet. Don't be so cheap. And I was like, okay. And the worker was so freaking nice. Okay. So the toy was like $20. It was like a Fisher price toy. And it was so cute. Like I kept that thing forever. It was so expensive y'all. It was so expensive. And I was like, this is like all the rest of whatever I have, you know, I don't want to go into the 200 because I don't even want her to peep that I have anything because she's gonna be like, oh, we should go do this. We should go do that. Or like, you really should give me this, you know, have my wallet. And it literally just shows like everything I just have left, not in the secret department, but everything I just have right there. Right. The person is so sweet. And it's like, oh, I think I saw this on Markdown. Let me do a price check for you. <gasps> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Now look at Flake and Flake's like, <sighs> like that. She's like, that's so ghetto. Bitch, to price match? That's ghetto? Okay. All right. So annoying. So annoying. Everything was all ugh, 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 until she did it. And then it was cool. But it was like, miss me with that. Okay. So Andrew's excited. He has his toy. And she was like, I wouldn't have. I want to give it. My kids were crying. I wouldn't give. I don't care. I was like, bitch, you literally told me to not cheap and go get it she's like didn't mean how to listen she was on that if you ever had a friend like that please let me know down below if you have your own little crazy story because she made me want to fight her all the time so we're walking out and andrew starts to get a little bit more fussy and i'm like what the heck is going on like maybe he's just like you know she's giving my baby ojo because i believe in ojo for real for real okay like for real for real like mm -mm, she probably gave my baby a home what's crazy is i remember one time andres was like super fussy for like three days okay i was like oh my gosh praying and like making sure that like nothing was hurting him i was taking him to the doctor the doctor was like nothing's wrong like it could just be a stomach ache or maybe this maybe that but it was nothing like oh they were concerned and I was just so curious of like, why the hell is my baby so fussy? Tell me why the ex's mom was like, it's because well, I don't like you and I can't stand you that he probably feels that and you're his mom. So he probably, he par he's probably feeling the energy of like, I can't stand you. But she said in Spanish, she was a little spicy. And I was like, that is so mean. I literally did nothing to the bitch. Nothing, nothing. Hand on a Bible nothing to her i don't care if she says like oh you know she was a little i did nothing to you nothing 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 i did nothing to you okay nothing at all it was crazy how much hatred she had for me and where she seen i was so desperate to like to figure out what was wrong with him that she was like oh it's probably my fault because i can't stand you that's why and I was like, okay. And I remember her staying in her room so she could stay away from Andrew. And it's crazy. After I did like a limpia todo, called my grandma, made the calls that they has, 
todo, he like chilled out. But as soon as she crept around again, fussy, fussy. And it was so bad to the point where even though the ex was like a huge mama's boy, he had to tell her like, I need, I need sleep. I need rest, like stay over there because how bad Andres would cry. And I was just like, bitch. And trust me, I did not leave her with my baby like at all. Like, I don't care how busy I was. I don't care if I was taking a shower. He was in the little bouncer and I was like, Tch. with the cortina, watching him, watching him, watching, 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 because mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Yeah, it's 2.7 my own life. Yeah, big old baby. Are you going to the store later? I'm not, but do you need me to? I can't. What? Look, you're so nice to me. <laughs> you need me to? Excuse me, I ask you all the time and yet you don't want to take me. For what? For oh, being a little crap. For being mean to me all the time? <laughs> okay guys, I need to Devil? finish. She was being so mean to me earlier. So mean. Hurt my feelings. Where I was like, okay. Okay. But I try to understand the kids have hormones. They're human too. So anyways, I was like, this bitch giving my baby a hole. We need to go. So I put him in the car seat, get him strapped, get him ready. I forget about the diaper bag. I don't know why. All this time, I don't forget. I don't forget. I don't forget. I don't forget. But I did not get the, the diaper bag. I'm like, oh, when she gets in the car, I was like, oh, I forgot to get the, she's like, I got it. Don't worry about it. And I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So we're good. We're good. So we ended up going back to my house, we stayed talking outside for like 30 minutes and it was like some good combo. It didn't feel weird, well, I was like, okay, cool. Like maybe it's just like where we haven't hung out in a minute. The vibes were just different, but you know, whatever. She asks me if I want to go to her son's birthday party that her mom's throwing and I'm like, yeah, for sure. She's like, it's okay, you don't gotta bring anything because I know you're broke. I was like, uh, okay, I can, they all try to put something together. She's like, and I don't do hand-me-downs. And I was like, Ugh. I was like, you know, you are really, really hard to love. And she like laughs super hard. She's like, thinks it's the funniest thing. Me too. I'm like, okay, cool. We're just him and he hawing together. Like it was like no biggie. The ex comes out, he gets my Andrew. They're chatting it up. It's no big deal. Tell her bye. Where the ex gets Andrew, I'm kind of thrown off of diaper bag diaper bag you know but by the time i get to the the doorstep i'm like oh so i message her and she goes i'm already turning back and i'm like oh okay cool like dude oh my god his diaper bag his formula like everything's in there yada 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 talking way too much so she pops the trunk i get it say bye she tells me again don't forget his birthday party Oh yeah, no problem. Oh yeah, like I'm gonna for sure go. She told me she had a lot of fun and like hugs me. And it was like, she was doing way too much. Something told me something was off. You know, I could just feel it. So time passes by. I ended up calling my grandma and I wanted to see her. Always doing the most. I was like reaching out when I should have just not been. They hated to visit me when I lived in that house. Even though I'd be like, please, like, please just come over. They'd be like, no, I don't wanna see that bitch. They should have just came over and see me regardless. And when my mama did come over, it was fights between the ex and his mom because my mom scared her. Drama, y'all. She wanted me to be alone. She hated when I had visitors. Even if I lived with the freaking puta, they should have been like, oh, made themselves present so that she knew like, okay, she has people who care about her. They were just too caught up about feeling uncomfortable. Like if I felt uncomfortable for all those years, you could feel uncomfortable también, like de pasas. I tell my grandma like, hey, I wanna see you. Can I take you out? Again, doing the most when it comes to my grandma because I really wanted that validation from her, like crazy. I asked her if I could take her out and she tells me that she doesn't want me to take her out but that she does need some stuff for the house if I wanna help her with that. And if not, then no, she doesn't want nothing. That's how she literally talks. She literally talks like that. And it's just like, she does, I don't know if she doesn't hear herself, but she is extremely disrespectful, like extremely, where it's just like, that's crazy that she could hear when other people are talking crazy, but she can't hear herself talking crazy. So I was like, yeah, grandma, how much do you think it's gonna be? And she's like, I don't know, but if you can't do it, then 
I don't even want to waste my time. I'm like, no, I can do it. I can do it because I still have those $200. I tell my grandma she could pick me up and we can spend the day together. And when we go to the store, I can pay for it. We go to the store. My grandma's picking up the stuff. The total comes to like $80. Now, even though that was my stash, I always wanted to make sure that like my grandma could have what she wanted, even if we weren't on like the best of terms because i love my grandma so much the total comes to 80 and this whole time my grandma is like talking to me telling me like you don't have to if you don't want to i don't want to be walking around wasting my time and i swear she like spoke it into existence or something where she was being so negative i'm like no grandma like i got it like why do you keep saying that like why do you keep i was getting so mad because like my mom would do stuff like that like my mom would have my grandma fill a cart and be like psych i don't got so I could see why she was traumatized, but I was like, I, why would I do that to you? Why would I purposely do that to you knowing that my mom did that to you? Like, why would I do that, you know? Like, I guess she was traumatized by her kid, but I was like, grandma, like, why would I do like that? So the total comes to $80. And I don't check my wallet at home because anytime I felt like anything, like I constantly felt like something or someone was watching me, okay? I would constantly get caught by his mom doing stuff and she'd be like, why do you do, why do you have that? When did you get that? Why are you hiding this? Why are you hiding? So I was like, oh my god! Like I even felt like in the restroom where there were so many holes, I didn't feel like comfortable. Like I would shower like in my bra and undies. Okay, like it was just it was a lot. Okay, so I didn't check it. I did not check it. When we're getting to pay, I open it and my heart just sank. I was like, like thinking. I was oh my gosh! I was like oh bitch from my stash and she probably took it like all these emotions were running through my mind i was thinking like it was his mom it had to have been her like who else like she found it oh my god i was thinking about so many scenarios like i wonder if it was this person because we had roommates so i was like oh my god it's the roommate because how the ex beat her her ass like it had to have been her that's why she left so quick it's not why she left so quick she left because he put his hands on her and i was just like oh my god like thinking about so many things and my grandma was like i knew it i knew it you wasted my time piss tells the cashier put it all away put, put all the back. her and her mom are just the same i was so hurt i was so mad like ew like ew you can't even give it you can't even give me the benefit of the doubt you want me to be nasty so bad so you can you can have like the excuse of like you see that's why that's why i've always been like this to her because of this you know what i mean like no they never want to take credit for the monsters that they create never I, like, in shock like i'm in shock so i immediately get on my phone and i'm like fighting with him i'm like did your mom touch my bag he's like what what are you talking about he would always get so scared when i would go to like 100 because he was like oh my god she's gonna leave me like it's for real this time so i'm like fighting with him and he's like what you had money you hid money and i was like it is a man who day. i was so mad so my grandma hears me fighting with him outside of the car she's already in the car she's already ready like she's just like pissed off like i ruined her day i ruined her Day. so she's mad so she so i put andrew in she hears me like cussing him out like i swear to god if i find out your mom took my money like i swear to god what are you gonna do what are you doing so we're like fighting and he starts telling me like no it's like my mom my, my mom didn't take it like i he's like yelling at his mom like did you take it she's like well i didn't know she had money so like all fighting and i'm like oh my i was like oh no what do you think what do you think he's like i don't know you left you probably spent it you probably spent so when he said you left and you probably spent I was like, no way. So I was like trying to think about all the times. I was like, when she took off, did she did she take the money then? Is that when she took it? Or was it when she went? I was like thinking this, thinking that. So many things is what I was thinking, right? There's no way, there's no way in hell of it. That she did it in front of me. Like I'm just thinking so many things. So I get in the car and before my grandma came to talk, I'm like, I'm sorry, grandma. I'm tired of this grandpa. I'm sorry, Grandma. I didn't mean to embarrass you. I'm not my mom. You're constantly thinking that, like, I'm trying to, like, you know, embarrass you, whatever the hell. But, like, I'm not. I could put it on Andrew. I really had the intention of paying. I should have checked. Yeah, you should have checked before you waste my time. Like, she was so mad. And I was like, I just took it. I just took it. And I was just like, all right. Okay. And this wasn't the only time I did this to my grandma, okay? Like, it was. <laughs> so, I was like, I'm sorry. Like, I am. 
I am for real sorry. Drops me off, doesn't even let me say bye girl. She was pissed, she was pissed like that I wasted her time. Like she was livid, I wasted her time. I get in the house, so now me and him, because you had money bitch and you didn't tell me you had money, we fought ugly 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 we fought and like the whole time i was getting these chingasos i was like why the f did you call and explode on him like that you should have like tried to like you know go back to the house maybe you misplaced it maybe this maybe this maybe that maybe that uh -uh. so i looked all did right okay and he's like and you're dumb over here blaming my mom my mom my mom my mom and yeah i felt stupid blaming his mom and not knowing like all the facts because it just gave her uh, ammunition like she was just like okay that's what you think of me oh yeah i think less of you but okay go off i don't even say anything i want to text for like so bad like i know what you did last summer bitch i know what you did i know what you did but i don't but I don't, but I'm just like, okay. And we've been talking here and they're like, oh, hey girl, how you doing? So like everything was just like normal, he, 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 normal. There was no like weirdness. It wasn't like she like changed all of a sudden, no weirdness, okay? So it comes, it comes around to go into the birthday party. I go to the fields and I make some money. So I have some money to buy the baby's present. We go, why well, say we, he dropped me off. I go and I cannot help, but just like have a face where I'm just like, it wasn't my money you took, it was Andrew's money you took, okay? Because everything I do, I do for them, okay? I do for my kids. Anything, anything you see, I do for my kids all the time, okay? So it really had me urged because I was like, you didn't take my money. You took his money, bitch. So I put the present on the table and she was like, oh girl, you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to do that. I told you, is it hand-me-downs? And I was like, and her mom snapped at her, okay? She's like, Flake, you leave that baby alone. You don't be talking to her like that. She is blah, 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 blah. Her mom's always been really, really nice, super, super sweet. And so she's like, I'm just kidding. Oh my God, you're so sensitive, blah, 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 blah. So we're just sitting there, time goes on. I notice that she comes around here and there, but I'm just like, not myself, okay? I, I'm seeing my my friends from like school and stuff, you know, and I'm like talking to them, oh hi, they're like gushing over Andrew, like, oh my God, he's so cute. You know, that kind of thing. I was like, girl, I don't know how you do it. Cause like, the time that I had Andrew was a time that everyone was like having fun, like, you know, prom, all that fun stuff. So like, we really didn't have anything to like relate on really. And I feel like we're, I had so much drama going on with my mom no one could really relate to me and they didn't want to be around that they only wanted to be around it when like my mom was like picking them up buying shit for them but when there was none of that around it was like they didn't want to kick it you know which is cool which is fine i'm cool so we were like you know ha 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 talking but we didn't really have anything so it was just like i just felt like a little loner at the party and i was just like oh, i'm just gonna i'm just gonna get going like okay so i tell him like hey come pick me up so she sees that I'm like getting ready and heading to the front so I can wait at the porch. And she's like, where are you going girl? And then we're like talking, as we're talking, she notices that I have like a little like, you know, bruise right here. Cause like I didn't wear makeup like that, but like I would put powder and stuff like that, but it wasn't like I could cover it up good, you know? No one asked, no one else was like asking like what's on your face. I think because like one, they probably weren't looking as hard. Two, they were just like, she's not gonna leave him anyways, doesn't matter what we say. And so she's like, oh, what's up with your face? So I was like, oh. Okay, this is my opportunity. So as we're walking, Andrew on my hip, hitting my, hitting my thigh, hitting my, hit my hip, hitting my hip. I swear that's why I probably have hip problems. Carrying all my babies on my hip with the car seat right there. So we go to the front, and then she's like, "Oh my God, what happened?" And I was like, "Oh, I lost some money." And and when I said that, her eyes go like that. She's like, "Yeah, what happened?" Like that, and that right there, it took me everything I needed to know. I was like, "Yeah, like you told me to hold some money for him," and I swear I thought I had it, and like. Oh, when he asked for it, we were like, how to pay for something. And then I didn't have it. Like, I, I swear I put it there, Flake. Like, I swear I put it there. She's like, really? That's crazy. That's crazy. And then she like, kind of like, started asking questions. And she's like, did you like, check your wallet good? Like behind your ID? Like, did you like, check the zipper? And when she said zipper, she like, knew that like, she fucked up. Like, she knew. Like, how did you know about like, that secret like, place? It's not like the coin zipper, okay? This this wallet was cool. You know like combat kind of like backpacks? Well, this wallet was cool, okay? I had like, I got this, this is new. But, okay, so you know how it has like, perfect. You know how it has like this right here? 
there was a zipper on this side that you could open and tuck it in there okay but it was like on this side so because this doesn't really have it so it had like a it had a hidden zipper okay it had a hidden zipper when it left her mouth even she was just like like how that guy looked on love is blind okay just like caught and i was like what like i looked at her Whew, she was like yeah like you know like the 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 zipper like you 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 have a zipper right like i'm and I was like, I just got quiet and I did that. And she felt awkward. And she's like, well, thanks for coming, Lex. Like, I really, really appreciate it. And like got up and left. That's it. We never talked again. That right there, let me know everything I needed to know. Okay, now, fast forward now. Hung out with some friends, caught up, that kind of thing. She gets brought up in the conversation. Blake, okay? Everyone's talking about like, oh, a story that they have, blah, 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 blah. Oh, that's crazy. I don't tell my story because I'm like, mm, I'm good. I'll say it for story time. I'm good. I'm good. I'm just like, you know, okay, catching up. It's just casual. It's just cool. And one of the girls brings up like, oh, didn't she like take like $200 from you? Yet again, I did not bring up the story. What? What? She's like, yeah, like that's what I heard, right? And she's like, you know, looking at our other friends. And they kind of just like look at me because like they knew that like I didn't know. It was one of those things, you know? And I was like, what do you mean? And they're like, yeah, like that's what we heard that like she took her $200 from you. You confronted her about it. And I was like, mm -mm, no, no. I explained the situation. They're like, what? That's crazy. No, we heard that, you know, you confronted her and she told you like she was going to pay you back. Yada, yada. So she tried to get the story out before I got the story. And I didn't say nothing. I just took it on the chin. And I was like, whatever, whatever. Like, hopefully she needed it more than me. Hopefully she needed it more than me. Hopefully for something. Hopefully for the birthday party, whatever it was, hopefully she needed it more than me. Days pass, days pass, days pass. I go on my Snapchat and I see a name that I'm like kind of familiar with. And I'm like, huh, I don't know. Sometimes people be sending like news and stuff. And you're like, oh my God, you know? So I open it and she called me the certain name. Now she was the only one who called me that name. And so I just said, yes. And so she sends me a Snapchat. It's her face and she was like, hey, I know you hung out with so-and-so recently and I just wanted to let you know that sorry and that she did take the $200. And we're just talking back and forth, talking back and forth, how we took different paths, yada, yada, yada. She tells me that she took it when she put the cart away when we're at Walmart. And she's like, comes to find out, I was the one who needed it the most, huh? Cause you're doing real good. And I just left it at that. Like I just left it at that. Cause I was like, that's crazy that's crazy that's crazy because like it's like dang i fought ugly i got into it with his mama and the tension for like freaking days was just ugh. it was just like oh and then it always was like do you oh you, you have your stash are you hiding oh you probably you probably can you probably can you probably and it was just like oh dude it was just it opened up so much like drama so when she said that i just laughed at that and i was like done but yeah so that's my cheese me my updated cheese me i can't believe after all these years i was like i knew it i knew it i knew it just because like how she left when i was at the door at the at the porch but like still part of me part of me was like no i'm just reading way too much into it and his mom probably got into it i'm reading way too much into it like i still wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt i just wanted to i just wanted to so bad i was like mm -hmm. i just wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt now i hope after all these years i can find out where my purse went i had a purse it said angel on it and i'm hoping i get a snapchat about that i really am but i love you guys so much hope you guys enjoyed today's story time let me know if you have a similar story time. I would love to read it down below. Or if you have met someone with this type of personality. I would love to know because it was hard. It was really, really hard. It was like hot, cold, hot, cold, hot, cold. And if you want to hear more story times about Flake, let me know down below. I love you guys so much. Besos a todos. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look. Let me know what you guys think about it. I freaking love how it came out i really really love how it came out i really got to use that palette more because it was expensive but it is just so beautiful like mm, i love it but yeah i love you guys so much besos a todos and i'll see you guys in my next video bye